Hello everyone, welcome to Simba IT YouTube series episode 15. My name is Jody, one of the trainer from Simba IT. So today I will be actually sharing with you on the topic of Zoom. So this topic of Zoom will actually split into four episodes, so stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Now, let us talk more about Zoom. Zoom is actually widely used these days due to pandemic, as Zoom actually provides a platform for us to have meetings, for us to actually host events via Zoom and also having classroom lessons there. And besides that, Zoom is also a cloud-based video conferencing where it allows us to virtually meet with others. And there is also functions like live chat as well. So Zoom has various features where it makes people want to use Zoom more. So here are some of the features. So Zoom have recording, but it allows us to record the entire meeting for us to view it later. There is also in-meeting chat for us to send message privately to the host or even send message through the meeting of the whole group itself. And there is also like functions like screen sharing for us to show our work when doing any presentation through the meeting. There is also breakout rooms allows us to split our participants into groups as well. We are able to host up to 100 participants for free. And anything more than that, there will be price plans for that. And it also allows us to have unlimited one-to-one -one meeting. So now we'll be moving on in talking about the different price plans that is offered by Zoom. So now here we are at the Zoom webpage. I'll be sharing with you more about the different price plan that is offered by Zoom. So in this video, you will be able to know about the different price plan that is best suited for you. So you have to enter to this Zoom website, after which you will be able to see the plans and pricing tab. And after that, you have to click into the plans and pricing tab in order for you to look into the different price plan that is offered by them. So here at this web page, after you scroll down, you'll be able to see the different price plan that is offered by them. Okay, so you'll look into this Zoom free. If let's say you are those that is just testing out Zoom, or let's say you mostly use one-to-one -one meetings, Zoom free will be best suited for you as they will have an unlimited one-to-one -one meeting timing for you to actually have the meeting itself. And you are able to actually host up to 100 participants by using the Zoom free. Or if let's say you have two or more people in the group meeting, you are allowed to have 40 min minutes maximum for you to host that meeting itself. Okay, but if let's say you are someone who actually require to have more than 40 minutes of the timing in that meeting itself, and you only require to host up to 100 participants, the next pricing plan, which is the pro, great for small teams, would be best suited for you as there will be unlimited group meetings and you are able to host up to 100 participants itself. But if let's say you are having meetings for business, okay, you can actually look into the next two plan, which is offered by Zoom. Okay, as for the first one, you are able to actually, first and second one, you are able to actually host up to 300 participants and there are different features for you to actually look into it. So if you actually need to look more into the phone and the laptop meeting or computer meeting, you can actually look into the, more to the last plan pricing itself. But you are just solely want to have a meeting that is using your computer itself, you can actually just look into the third plan itself. Okay, so now you actually know more about the different price plan, you are able to decide which price plan that is best suited for you. Okay, so moving on, let us talk more about on how to sign up for Zoom. 
Okay, right now I'll be sharing on how to actually sign up for an account in Zoom. So you will actually require an account if you constantly host a meeting. But if let's say you are someone who just actually required to join a meeting itself, then you would not need an account. So how do I sign up for an account in Zoom? So at the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see this sign up, it's free. So you will click into it and you are required to enter your details. So there are three options for you to choose from in order for you to create an account. So you can actually make use of your Facebook account if you have a Facebook account and you are able to use your Google account to actually sign up for Zoom or even sign in using your SSO, okay? So I will click into sign in with Google since this will be my option for this video. So I'll click into it and it will bring you to this web page itself and you have to select your Gmail account to actually create your Zoom. So I'll click into it. Okay, after that, they will actually ask you to click onto the create account. Okay, so I click into it and you actually successfully create your own Zoom account. So you will actually land onto this meeting tab itself that allows you to actually schedule a meeting under this upcoming tab, okay? And besides that, you are able to look into your previous meeting, which is under this previous tab, okay? So in this tab here itself, you are able to see the meetings that has been held previously. And last, in this personal room, where it actually create a own personal meeting room that is specially catered for you. You will have your own meeting ID and passcode and also a URL for people to join if let's say you are to invite any participant into your own personal meeting room. And do note that your own passcode can be changed by clicking onto the edit itself. After which, we'll go on to this profile tab where it allows you to actually change your profile picture and you'll be able to see all the details that is inside your Zoom account. Now we have come to the end of our episode. So thank you for watching this episode of No Limits. If you like our videos, do remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share this video to your friends so that you will know more about Zoom and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!